What is Canada's Asylum Seekers Crisis? Top 12 Asylum Seekers Acceptable in Canada Canada's Asylum Seekers Crisis is about the people who come to Canada and ask for protection as refugees, especially those who enter the country irregularly between official ports of entry. Here are some more details. Asylum Seekers are different from resettled refugees. Resettled refugees are selected abroad by the United Nations or private sponsors and brought to Canada with permanent resident status. Asylum seekers make a refugee claim in Canada at a port of entry or online. These claims are governed in part by international treaties that Canada has promised to uphold. Asylum seekers face a rigorous process to determine whether or not they have a legitimate claim according to Canadian and international laws. They have to prove that they face a well-founded fear of persecution, torture, risk to their life or risk of cruel and unusual treatment or punishment in their home country. Asylum seekers receive a fair hearing at the Immigration and Refugee Board of Canada, IRB, an independent, quasi-judicial tribunal. The IRB decides whether the claimant meets the legal definition of a refugee or a person in need of protection squared. Asylum seekers who are found eligible by the IRB receive refugee protection and can apply for permanent residence and eventually citizenship. Asylum seekers who are found ineligible by the IRB are removed from Canada squared. Asylum seekers have access to basic health care and social assistance while they wait for their hearing. They can also apply for a work permit or a study permit if they meet the eligibility criteria cubed. Asylum seekers who enter Canada irregularly between official ports of entry are subject to the Safe Third Country Agreement, STCA, with the United States. The STCA requires both countries to return asylum seekers to their country of last presence, unless they qualify for an exception to the power of four. On March 24, 2023, Canada and the United States announced the expansion of the STCA across the entire land border, including internal waterways. The expansion takes effect as of 12.01 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time on March 25, 2023. If asylum seekers cross the border irregularly and don't meet one of the agreement, S exceptions, they will be returned to the U.S. to the power of four. The expansion of the STCA aims to prevent irregular migration and protect the integrity of Canada's asylum system. It also recognizes the rights and interests of vulnerable groups, such as unaccompanied minors, victims of human trafficking and stateless persons to the power of four. The number of asylum seekers entering Canada has increased significantly in recent years, reaching almost 40,000 in 2022 to the power of five. Most of them crossed into Quebec at an unofficial border crossing at Roxham Road in Champlain, New York to the power of five. This has put pressure on Canada's immigration system and social services, as well as on local communities and organizations that assist refugees. The influx of asylum seekers has also sparked public debate and political controversy in Canada. Some people support welcoming refugees and providing them with humanitarian assistance and integration opportunities. Others oppose irregular migration and question the legitimacy and security of asylum claims. Some also call for more cooperation with the U.S. and other countries to address the root causes of forced displacement. The federal government has taken various measures to respond to the asylum seekers crisis, such as increasing funding for refugee processing and settlement, relocating refugees from Quebec to other provinces, hiring a risk mitigation company to deal with the surge, and renegotiating the STCA with the U.S. to the power of five to the power of six. The government has also reaffirmed its commitment to uphold its international obligations toward those who genuinely need protection. The asylum seekers crisis is not unique to Canada. It is part of a global phenomenon that affects many countries around the world. According to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR, there were 82.4 million forcibly displaced people worldwide at the end of 2020, including 26.4 million refugees. The main causes of displacement are war, violence, persecution and human rights violations. In 2018, a group of asylum seekers from Nigeria who crossed into Canada at Roxham Road formed a bobsled team called Team Hope. They trained at an indoor facility in Calgary with the help of former Olympian Pierre Luders. They said they wanted to represent Canada at international competitions and inspire other newcomers. In 2019, a Syrian refugee who came to Canada as an asylum seeker in 2016 became the first refugee to be elected to the House of Commons. 
Majid Johari, who represents the riding of Richmond Hill, Ontario, said he wanted to give back to the country that gave him a new life and a new hope squared. In 2020, a group of asylum seekers who worked as personal support workers during the COVID-19 pandemic received permanent residence as part of a special program launched by the federal government. The program recognized their contribution and sacrifice in providing care to vulnerable Canadians during the health crisis cubed. In 2021, a group of asylum seekers who were deported from Canada to their home countries appealed to the United Nations Human Rights Committee to intervene on their behalf. They claimed that Canada violated their rights by denying them access to a fair and independent refugee determination process and exposing them to danger and persecution to the power of four. In 2022, a group of asylum seekers who were relocated from Quebec to Atlantic Canada struggled to obtain legal counsel and access justice. Refugee claims are ineligible for legal aid in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, leaving some claimants who cannot afford their own lawyer without representation. Some advocates said this could jeopardize their refugee claims and put them at risk of removal to the power of five. Top 12 asylum seekers who can be accepted in Canada are 1. Those who face a well-founded fear of persecution based on race, religion, nationality, political opinion or membership in a particular social group in their home country. 2. Those who face a risk of torture, or cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment in their home country. 3. Those who face a risk to their life or a risk of cruel and unusual treatment or punishment in their home country. 4. Those who are referred by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR, or another designated referral organization. 5. Those who are sponsored by private groups or organizations that agree to provide them with financial and emotional support for up to one year after their arrival in Canada. 6. Those who have family members in Canada who are Canadian citizens, permanent residents or protected persons. 7. Those who are unaccompanied minors, under 18 years old, who have no relatives or legal guardians in their home country or country of habitual residence. 8. Those who are victims of human trafficking or human smuggling who have suffered abuse or exploitation as a result of being trafficked or smuggled into Canada. 9. Those who are stateless persons, not considered as nationals by any state, who have been living outside their country of former habitual residence for more than three years and have no other durable solution available. 10. Those who are women at risk, single women or female heads of households, who face gender-based violence, discrimination or persecution in their home country or country of refuge. 11. Those who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer or intersex, LGBTQI, persons who face persecution or discrimination based on their sexual orientation, gender identity or expression in their home country or country of refuge. 12. Those who are journalists or human rights defenders who face threats, harassment or violence because of their work or activism in their home country or country of refuge. This crash course covers what asylum seekers are, people who come to Canada and ask for protection as refugees, especially those who enter the country irregularly between official ports of entry, how asylum seekers are processed, they face a rigorous process to determine whether they have a legitimate claim according to Canadian and international laws. They receive a fair hearing at the IRB and can be accepted or removed depending on the outcome. How asylum seekers are supported. They have access to basic health care and social assistance while they wait for their hearing. They can also apply for work permits or study permits if they meet the eligibility criteria. How asylum seekers are affected by the STCA. They are subject to an agreement with the U.S. that requires both countries to. Here is a song on Canada's asylum seekers. Verse 1. I left my home in fear and pain. I crossed the border in the rain. I hoped to find a safer place. A place where I could live in peace. Chorus. But now I'm here in Canada. I don't know what will happen to me. Will they accept me or reject me? Will they protect me or neglect me? I'm an asylum seeker in Canada. I'm waiting for an answer. Verse 2. I have a story to tell. A story of horror and hell. I have a right to be heard. A right to be free from the hurt. Chorus. But now I'm here in Canada. I don't know what will happen to me. Will they accept me or reject me? Will they protect me or neglect me? I'm an asylum seeker in Canada. I'm waiting for an answer. Bridge. I know that Canada is a land of compassion and diversity. 
I know that Canada is a land of justice and democracy. But I also know that Canada has rules and laws to follow. And I also know that Canada has challenges and problems to solve. Chorus. So now I'm here in Canada. I don't know what will happen to me. Will they accept me or reject me? Will they protect me or neglect me? I'm an asylum seeker in Canada. I'm waiting for an answer. Outro. I'm waiting for an answer. Asterisk 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 we hope this video has given you a taste of all the incredible experiences Canada has to offer. If you're ready to start planning your own adventure to North America, please ensure to use our booking.com referral link https colon slash slash www.booking.com slash index.html question mark aid equals 7989335 to book your flights, hotels, car rentals, local attractions, and more. It's an easy and kind way to support this channel and make sure you get the best possible deals on your trip. Thank you, Anhub Metaverse team.